Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Today's question is, what is sensitivity, specificity, false positives, and false negatives? So these concepts are often confused with one another. And I'm going to be talking about these concepts in the context of mental health disorders. So let's use a mental health disorder like bipolar 1 disorder. So let's say there's a test, a screening instrument, that's given to clients, and it can return just one of two results. Either it's positive, meaning that individual has bipolar disorder, or at least the instrument is saying that the individual has bipolar disorder, or it's negative. The instrument is saying that the person does not have bipolar disorder. And then let's say that there is some sort of gold standard that is another instrument that we can use later on, and it's always correct. It always gives an accurate assessment. Of course, no assessment like this exists, but let's just say that it does for the purpose of demonstrating these terms. So at that point, when they take this gold standard instrument, you know for sure the actual result. They have bipolar disorder, positive, or they don't, negative. So sometimes this screening instrument is going to agree with the gold standard. This is known as a true positive or a true negative. So if the instrument says positive and the actual result is positive, that's a true positive. If the instrument says the person doesn't have this order and in actuality they don't have this order, that's a true negative. So both of those findings are true. Now false means that the instrument was wrong. Remember the gold standard can never be wrong. So with the false positive, the instrument, the screening instrument is saying that there's a positive result, but in actuality it's negative. So it's saying that somebody has bipolar disorder when they don't have it. That's a false positive. A false negative is when the test reports a negative finding. It says, in this case, there's no bipolar disorder, but in reality, there is. That's a false negative. So you have true positive, true negative, false positive, and false negative. So where does sensitivity and specificity come in? Well, sensitivity is the true positive rate. So it's the number of true positives divided by all of the positive results. Now this means the positive results from the gold standard. So that's the true positives plus the false negatives. All the individuals who actually have bipolar disorder. The false negative rate is one minus the sensitivity. So sensitivity, true positives divided by all positive cases. False negative is equal to one minus sensitivity. So sensitivity is the probability of the test being positive when the person actually has the disorder. So moving over to specificity, this is also known as the true negative rate. And it's the probability of the test being negative when the disorder isn't there in reality. It's the number of true negatives divided by all of the negative cases, which would be all the true negatives plus all the false positives. Because remember, with the false positive, in reality, the case is negative. So the false positive rate is 1 minus the specificity. So when we talk about sensitivity and specificity, we also look at this idea of ruling out a disorder and ruling in a disorder. So a few things to keep in mind with these concepts. If a test is highly sensitive, and if it returns a negative result, that tends to help us rule out a disorder. If a test is highly specific and the result is positive, that helps us rule in a disorder. So relating some of this to statistics, it's important to keep in mind that false positive rate is also the type 1 error rate. It's the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis when we should not have. And the false negative rate is the risk of type 2 error. This is failing to reject the null hypothesis when we should have rejected it. I hope you found this description of sensitivity, specificity, false positives, and false negatives to be interesting. Thanks for watching.